Gonna go in and edit these and change their appearance. You know the deal. White, oops, white and uh, make them look like wood. And you know you may you may eliminate this part. I find it, you know, if you enjoy doing drafting, then um, I enjoy this part of it. Then I'm gonna mirror it over. This time I'm going to use the front plane to mirror it around. I'm going to pick the bodies out of the solid bodies folder. One of the things too I've noticed that if you go in and name the features, um, it's helpful because they're going to make a lot more sense when you start um, when you end up whether you're a whoops whether you're a mechanical drafter or a or a architectural drafter. Okay, for some reason it wouldn't, it wouldn't light up. So, anyways, back to what I was saying. If you name your features, um, when you start to get into larger models and you're having to pick, and again, this probably wouldn't happen if um, I was doing an assembly, but... Um, you'll find that once you get into the hundreds of, of disjointed bodies... Um, that it's easier to tell everything apart because you've named it. So um, it can either be ambiguous or fairly specific. It just gives you the ability to navigate through this tree of solid bodies um, when it gets into the hundreds of, com of disjointed bodies. So. And so we'll go ahead and put a skin on it and come back and um, add windows and doors and all that good stuff a little bit later. Um, we'll go ahead and add a skin to this wall. And I'm just going to make sure that I've got half inch overhang. And I'm going to do a driven dimension to make sure that it's what I intended for it to be. And that was 10 feet. And it is. And you can see that it's a driven dimension because it's grayed out instead of being dark black like the driving dimension. And it's over here on the side and you just go to more properties and it'll show you right here that it's driven so <clears throat> we're going to extrude that and it's going to be 7 16 is subsiding make sure it's going the right direction Oop. and we're going to go back and like i have a horrible habit of doing we're going to make sure that merge result is unchecked. And in this case, we want to make it look like chipboard. And we want it to be, we want the scale to be as small as possible, or at least I do. Now, if you knew this was going to be completely symmetrical, windows and all of that, you could do a one complete wall, um, siding, subsiding, trim, window, the whole nine yards, and mirror it over. It just depends. I mean, like every project, how, however far ahead you can think, um, you may be able to save yourself some time. And there's a bunch of different ways that you could do this. You could draw all the sketches and, and extrude it vertically and 
Um, So we're going to mirror that over. We're going to use the, I believe it's the right plane. And we're going to say, OK. So finally we'll do the front and the back wall and we'll have ourselves a little box without a roof on it. And in this case uh, I won't have to dimension it at all because I've got two um, coincident points. So we'll go ahead and extrude that. 7 16 don't want to merge it. If anybody knows, uh, one of the things I, <laughs> again, it's probably just from not using it very much, I'd love to set the default um, color to something other than gray. In fact, I'd love for the default color to be white. So if any of you users out there, when you see this, um, if you know how to set the default color for new entities, that would be a real big help. And we're going to mirror it. This time we're going to use the front plane. Mirror that body. And that time it picked up the characteristics, visual properties. So we have ourselves a little box and that's where we're going to end for right now. Um, we'll be doing the roof and the, obviously all the rest of it here real soon. This is Cadudite signing off.